Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the slope of the tangent line to the graph of a function at a specific number. So we're going to find the slope of the tangent line at x equals 3 to the graph of the function x squared minus 4. So there are two ways to do this. So first let me show you how to do it without graphing the function. So you start off by clicking on math and then you scroll down until you see something that resembles derivative. There it is, n derivative. So click on that, so enter. So we're taking the derivative with respect to x. I'm going to enter x. Here it wants the function, so x. Then we need the exponent key, that's the caret key. And then 2. And we're trapped in the exponent area, so we need to hit the right arrow key to come down. Then minus 4. Now we need to get over here and enter the 3. So I'm going to hit the right arrow key. So 3. And that looks beautiful. We want the derivative of this function at x equals 3. So let's hit enter. And it gives us the answer. So really, really beautiful stuff. So again, it's math. Then you go down to where it says and deriv. Hit enter. Hit x. And here we have x squared minus 4, then come over here, hit 3, then hit enter, and there is the answer. The other way of doing this is by graphing it. I'll show you really quickly. So you click y equals, and you type it in. I have already typed it in, so x squared minus 4. You hit graph, then you hit calc. Now, calc is a blue key, so to access the calc menu, you first have to hit second. So, second, trace, and then go down to where it says dy dx, right here, dy dx. So, again, it's second, trace, go down to where it says dy dx, hit enter, and then you just have to enter the x value. So, here, the x value is 3, so just 3, enter. And there's the answer, dy dx is 6. And it shows you uh, where you are at the graph at that point. So when x is 3, there's the y value, and the slope at that point is equal to 6. Again, it's second trace. Go down to dy dx. Then just press 3 and enter, and it gives you the derivative. So really, really useful stuff. I hope this video has been helpful.